to deal with this now. deal with this one. Are you ready to die? You know that? The captain's gonna make you pay for what you did. Really? So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around 5,000. Just like we said, makes no sense, right? Absurd. Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake. Don't be a fool. Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? Saints don't have that much power? Promising. This'll be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time. All right, let's do this, Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Vegeta! Here I go! Man, I can't believe Vegeta did this. I know I just got here, but let's get this show on the road. But not for long! The mighty Captain Ginyu will put you in your place! Wrong! Ah! Yes! Yes! Ah! Ah! I see! This guy's a lot more capable than he looks! This! Oh, no! How can the Saiyan be this strong? Unbelievable! Yeah. 
Vegeta said something about that, too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. S S Super Saiyan? You mean... You mean... The Legendary Warrior? No! This cannot be! Is, is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of? I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you... joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace, take my scouter! What are you doing? <laughs> that body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! <laughs> what? What's going on? What? What? What am I doing all the way over there? We've made a trade. Your body is mine now. Hey, Captain. Here's your scatter. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth, Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. He seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. You must go, Dimly. Unhurry. Those Earthlings need you. Uh, okay, I understand, but, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I suppose I'll let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, Understood my lord. lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, ho, 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 ho. very well then. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Where are the Dragon Balls? They're either hidden somewhere, or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runts summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan! It looks like all 
All seven of them are together in one spot. Right, now's our chance. I hope my dad's all right. Of course he's all right. He's Goku. Plus, Vegeta's with him. Yeah, that's true. Still, I wonder what sort of training Goku had to go through to get so strong. I'll do what I can. My best. That's my dad, full of surprises. showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. So, they actually buried them in the ground. Huh, we've got all of them now. Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Harunga appears. Well, here goes. Right. Come forth, Shinran, and grant our wishes! Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... where's Shinran? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it! What the hell are those two doing? Quillen! Someone's coming this way! <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the... Goku! Did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? 
Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls! How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it! Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? And you're... Krillin, go on! That's not me! <laughs> wow, you actually made it this far! <laughs> That's correct! I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu! <laughs> no, it can't be! That's my dad? He swapped bodies. All this really complicates things. Go on. Krillin, I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool! The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! Let me join in the fight, Captain! Or I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Vegeta! When, when did you... I think it's finally time to test this new body of mine out! Got it, got it. No way! I can't believe the full power as long as my dad's mind is separated from his body! Ah! <laughs> No way! Me! I'm right! 
Defeated so easily! You're next! Just now! That feels like my dad, all right! My dad! He's back in his own body! Damn it! This time... This time I'm taking Vegeta's body! Uh-oh. If he switches places with Vegeta, we're all done for! Not good! Now, your body is mine, Vegeta! P perfect! Change! into a frog. <laughs> Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. D Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. He... he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? A little worm from before. Curse you! You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? Not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Force. No! All five of them couldn't have. They couldn't have all been defeated. No. Something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force. And the Dragon Balls! No! The almighty Frieza will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! This medical machine here. It should put you back in prime condition before you know it. 
Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. Whoa, this is crazy. It's super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shinron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay. Let's hope we don't run into him first. Recover. Well, Vegeta said in no time, so hopefully not too long. I don't sense Freeze's power level close by. I hope he's not already at Guru's place.
could help. But I could give you. Oh, is that so? Hey, now I said. to fight in the world tournament again. <sighs> I'm nothing like I was back then. <laughs> I'm going You know, I actually managed to be good. <laughs> what the? <sighs> you look like you've gotten a lot stronger. Yeah, thanks to Mr. Piccolo.
I think I can handle this. collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. So we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. I knew it. This is perfect. Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Uh, right. Oh yeah, what about Vegeta? He said he was gonna rest up, right? Yeah, he's probably still sleeping. Good, we gotta make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. Made it. So 
So how's Vegeta? Uh, he's still sleeping. Well, he's been in his fair share of battles recently. Now's our chance to leave him here and go make our wishes. We gotta grab the Dragon Balls and make our way out of here without waking him up. Even if Shenron wakes him up, we should still have enough time if we're far enough away. Looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. Huh. Someone's coming this way. They're super fast. Yeah. It's Frieza. Hurry, did they? Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes. Right. Takarato poporunga poporito paro. They're glowing! And the sky! It's getting dark! Just like the Dragon Balls on Earth! You who have gathered all seven Dragon Balls, now state your wishes. I shall grant you any three wishes that are within my power. Uh, whoa! That Namekian Shinron is one generous dragon! Hurry! Tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Frieza get here! Oh, uh, right. First, ask him to bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans! Banda Parura, Ruti Mararu, Van Paritsu, Kumere Tohero, Runchero, Itash Kunspa, Pontero, Runche! I am unable to grant that wish. I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. Seems they can only wish back one person at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. Hurry! Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. Gohan, can you hear me? It's Piccolo! Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good. Okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours, use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And, as for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek. I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people. I'm a lot stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him. You have to warp me to Namek. Okay, Mr. Piccolo. Good. Do whatever you want for the third wish. Dinde. Ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Hoto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Moposo, Patorate Morimpe, Kuri Pupas, Puya Kirigo, Otaku Horoksa, Pero Pupo! Understood. I will grant your first wish. <laughs> Kame! Piccolo, what is this? What in the world are you up to? For our second wish, please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just brought back, and then warp him straight here to Namek. Okay! 
Terumopara Akororu, Stenonithoro, Hikoloru Magaka, Hamakaroru! Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. So, this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. Not sure why, but there's something familiar about it. Now's not the time to get emotional. I need to find Gohan and the others. I'm sensing a massive energy in the distance. It must be that monster Frieza! I sense three huge powers near there. They've got to be Gohan and the others! I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here, but what the hell is going on? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet! <laughs> what the hell is that monstrosity? Those Dragon Balls and those twerps, they're gone! That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about! Ugh, I can't believe they took the Dragon Balls right from under my nose! Damn them! Your second wish has been granted. Now, state your final wish. Wait, he granted our wish? Then where's Piccolo? Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but but you didn't say where. D did you want me to have him sent here? Oh no, now what are we supposed to do? <gasps> uh. oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! W wait! We get three wishes! So that means there's still one left! What are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal. Frieza's already on his way here. Hold on. Do you not have a final wish? Oh, man. We're out of options at this point. Hurry, Tinde. Grant Vegeta's wish. I hate to admit it but he's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes, finally! Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes. Dragons disappeared! And the Dragon Balls, they're... they're stone! G Grand Elder Guru? He's gone. He finally... died. What, what do you mean? What about my immortality? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh no. It's... Frieza! Well, you've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality in the most spectacular fashion. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have you to blame. I don't fully understand what has happened, but this is a rather surprising turn of events. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just as I was about to make my wish a reality? I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. This is a first, to be sure. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale! 
You... You worms will pay for this! I'm going to make your deaths long and painful! None of you will escape my wrath! Prepare to experience hell! We're... we're doomed! What is his power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? We can beat you! There's enough power between the three of us to take you down! The power level of those two keep rising, and the kid still has a ton of untapped power ready to go! Not to mention, I'm getting even closer to becoming your worst nightmare, a Super Saiyan! I grow tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's no myth. I'm strong enough now to take on even that freakish transformation of yours. Transformation? Did you say transformations? What are you talking about, Vegeta? A small number of people throughout the universe have the ability to transform when needed. Some camouflage themselves with it, while other beings use it to conserve their energy. My transformation serves another purpose, I'm afraid. You see, my power is so great that I struggle to contain it at times. Uh, what did you just say? He's bluffing! Relax! He doesn't have that much power! Oh, you think so? You know, I recall when I took over Planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. And your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. My father's strength back then pales in comparison to mine now. Huh. So it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet. Go on, transform. Show us what you really look like, Frieza. <laughs> Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige. You're in for a rare treat. Not many have had the privilege of seeing this form. <laughs> Careful now. This won't be like before, and I won't be gentle. Perhaps you've noticed my massive increase in power. In terms of power level, I would say it's over one million. What? No way! <laughs> oh my, you look rather scared, Vegeta. What's wrong? You weren't expecting this? For me to be this powerful? Damn you, Frieza! Now then, who shall I send to hell first? How about you? Krillin! What have you done to him? You hope to save him. Such a will be dead himself. Yeah. Ah. 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 No! No! 
How surprising. That little attack of yours just now actually managed to hurt. But you are no match for me. All you've succeeded in doing is angering me further. Oh, it's no use. Damn it. So much for that plan of ours. The energy from before is larger now. Frieza appears to have finally made his move. <gasps> There's an energy nearby. <clears throat> he looks just like me. Must be Namekian. So, you're the Namekian the Earthlings were talking about. They got their wish. <laughs> Good for them. You seem to know a lot about what's going on. You probably also know these Earthlings called me here to help them, not to talk to the locals. Sorry, but you're on your own. I don't know what kind of training you put yourself through, but your power, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Too bad it's not enough. You... you might have actually been able to take on Frieza if you'd recombined with your other half. What? You mean I could stand a chance against Frieza if I fused back together with Kami? Is that what you're telling me? That's right. I was no match for Frieza. But I... I got a sense of his power. There's no way in hell I'd join back with that dried-up dolt. Besides, I couldn't even if I wanted to. <laughs> then... Then fuse with me. If you do, you'll increase your power tenfold, maybe more. What? Fuse with you? <laughs> There's not much time. I only have a few moments left. <laughs> Your mind will still be your own. Quickly, place your hand on my body. <clears throat> Fine. I'll do it. <clears throat> Make Frieza suffer for what he did to our people. <clears throat> oh, I'm planning on it. <clears throat> <clears throat> This... this is unreal. This power, it's unbelievably incredible. So... so this is what he was talking about. I'm on my way, Gohan. I can win with this kind of power. Nothing can stand in my way now. I have just obtained the ultimate power! Take care not to succumb to evil, Piccolo. Never forget the wisdom of Guru. <laughs> I've had enough of you two.
Looks like someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Jesus' power is skyrocketing.
<laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this!
What's wrong, Vegeta? Are you not going to save him? <coughs> him? But he... What? <laughs> How is that pathetic worm still alive? My attack should have been fatal! You won't be able to cheat death again once I've torn you into a million little pieces! Solar Flare! <laughs> My eyes! Now, Vegeta, attack him with all you got! Thank goodness you're still alive! Here, let me heal you! He had that kind of ability? What are you doing, Vegeta? Why the hell didn't you tell me that Namekian Runt had the ability to heal people? Because we didn't know either. If we had known, we would have had him heal Goku. You really surprised me there, Dende. Thanks! Good luck! <laughs> His power has increased rather significantly. I suppose it's because he has the blood of a Saiyan. It might not be much, but it should be enough to tip the scales in our favor. Impossible! That little cretin was on the verge of death, I'm sure of it! <laughs> Something's coming! Mr. Piccolo! Sorry to keep you waiting. Of all the people to show up, it had to be the freak we killed back on Earth. The Dragon Balls were used to bring back this dead weight? What a waste! Sorry to disappoint you, but let's make one thing clear. I'm coming after you next. Once I take care of Frieza, that is. So another Namekian worm has come to die. Back off. I fight alone. 
What? What? <laughs> it's your funeral. You have no idea what you're up against, but fine. Go ahead. There's something different about this one. No matter, it's of little consequence. He's still far from the world. Time to take out the trash! apologize for my attitude before. I've underestimated you. But I'm afraid you're still out of your league. Allow me to demonstrate my true power! Well then, guess I'll do the same. <laughs> it appears you don't fully grasp the danger you're in. Did you think what I've shown you was the full extent of my power? What? You simpleton. You're clearly unaware that I've undergone a transformation. Prepare yourself. You're about to experience dread like you've never felt before! Transformation? Now, that I have your attention, it's only fitting that I instill you with hopelessness as well! With each and every transformation, my power increases quite considerably. And still, I have two more forms beyond this one. You know what that means, don't you? You can't be serious! Uh, no! He, he's got two more forms? Prepare yourselves! You have the esteemed privilege of being the first to see my next form! Rejoice! Mr. Piccolo, I'm gonna fight too! Kidding me! No! You're wasting your time! I need you to beat me within an inch of my life, right now! Huh? <sighs> I apologize for the wait. Shall we begin round two? Ugh, you monster! 
Now, let's see. I'll make quick work of you. What? Special. Maybe you now realize just how powerful we Saiyans can become when pushed to our limits. What are you waiting for? I can't get a power boost if I harm myself. I need you to do it! With that little Namekian's healing ability, I can recover from whatever you do almost immediately! I'd love to beat the snot out of you, believe me. But I can't. I mean, Goku's gonna be back any minute now. Kakarot isn't going to get stronger! He's a loser! Now, while I could snuff the life out of you in my current form with the most minimal of efforts, I wonder... Yes, I think I'll demonstrate to you just how truly terrifying my power is before I end your pitiful lives! <laughs> Now's our chance! Hurry up and do it! Good. This should work. Go on! You have to get out of here! Oh, right! What did you say? What in the hell do you mean you can't heal me? It, you killed so many of my people. I, I can't heal someone like you. No. Why, you insignificant little... I need to help the others. Are you okay? Thanks a lot, kid. Krillin, why did you attack Vegeta? Don't you remember? Saiyans get stronger every time they survive a fight to the death. That's why Vegeta asked me to attack him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dende, look, I get it. I know why you don't want to heal Vegeta, but we're screwed if he can't fight. Just heal him. I'm not strong enough to take Frieza on my own. <sighs> What's going on? Is that Frieza? His transformation's complete. Dende, please! We need you to heal Vegeta! <sighs> <sighs> Tr 
took you long enough. <laughs> Frieza should be no match for me now. Find me. Feast your eyes on a Super Saiyan. He's coming into view. what they say. You can't judge a book by its cover. Still, I think I liked his other forms better. Sorry I couldn't help you guys out. I know you all went through a lot of trouble trying to wish me here. No, I couldn't help but notice that little Namekian had the ability to heal you. I'm afraid I can't have any more of that. <laughs> well then, let's begin, shall we? you a promise, didn't I? I said you would experience a dread like no other you've felt before. His speed is incredible! So that's Frieza's true form. But I won't lose. Not as I am now! Stand back and let someone with real power handle this! Got it, 
prepare yourself! <laughs> yourself! Your moves were too fast for the runs to catch, but I can see them clear as day. I admire your confidence, Vegeta. But I'm afraid your mind is so overcome with fear that you've become delusional. You won't be laughing for very long, Frieza. After all, you're up against your greatest fear. A Super Saiyan! Frieza's Final Form. <laughs> you haven't lost your ridiculous sense of humor. There won't be a need for Kakarot when I'm done! I can see you! Well, I think I'll play with you after all. Prepare yourself! It may be time to go forth and be careful. 
I am a Super Saiyan! Go to hell, Frieza! I don't believe it! This can't be! Absurd! This can't be the extent of my power! Are you finished? I think I'll make the next move. I'll be gentle. For the very first time in his life, Vegeta had finally begun to experience true dread. Overcome with hopelessness and frustration, he was reduced to tears. The mighty prince of the warrior race had lost his will to fight. If you wish to save him, feel free to try at any time. Overflowing with power. It's actually kind of freaking me out. Whoa, I better get going. Hang on, guys, I'm on my way. All right, they're not too far. <laughs> <laughs> 